There was a breakdown of the Rose Markey transmitter serving the Inverness area at 9 o'clock this evening. This was due to electricity supply problems and lasted for about 40 minutes. And we're sorry if it spoiled the enjoyment of tonight's film. Well, next Sunday at 9.20, the season of British films from the 1960s continues with The Pumpkin Eater from 1964. With a screenplay written by Harold Pinter, it's the story of a disintegrating marriage with Anne Bancroft and Peter Finch starring as the unhappy couple. But he will die tomorrow. There's no real hope. Do exactly what I say. Now the time is here. I told you once. For you, I would do anything. Who are you? Doesn't matter. Mr. Carl. It is a far, far better thing that I do than I have ever done. Next tonight, Dance on Four continues with Lament of the Empress, specially choreographed for the screen by Germany's Pina Bausch. It's a sometimes disturbing look at the artist's progress through life, from the joys of childhood and turmoil of young love, through to the crises of middle age. Something's coming. I can feel it, and it's coming right around the corner at me. What ho? Are we in the Holston Brewery? No. Absolutely not. We're going to liberate Helmut's Horde of Holston. Interesting idea. How many are you taking out? 250 of the blighters. 250? Yeah! Top all these holster pills. Anything I can do to help you out in the tunnel, just let me know. What? Uh, here's mud in your eye. A Holston Pills production. Mom, I can't find my new T-shirt. It was in my room yesterday. Brilliant. Hot point. Why make life complicated? Hello, Rose. It's me, Beatty. Beatty? What's happened? Nothing's happened. You can't fool me. It's Harry, isn't it? <gasps> I may be 12,000 miles away, but I'm still your sister. What is it? Another woman? <laughs> Don't be ridiculous, Rose. So it's Melvin. Melvin's left beneath. Oh, what a mess. The kids. One week with him, one week with her. Melvin and Bernice are fine. So it's Elaine. Elaine's left Raymond. Can't say I'm surprised. You know, your daughter, Beda, is like her Auntie Rose. She needs space, she needs room. Harry is with me. Melvin is with Bernice. Elaine is with Raymond. There's no special reason for phoning. I just thought it would be nice to have a gossip. These days, calling overseas doesn't have to be a big event. So Harry is still with you. Melvin is still with Bernice. Elaine is still with Raymond. She calls this gossip. British Telecom. It's you we answer to. might expect, Virgin Atlantic have a rather different view of corporate man from many of their older competitors, which is why their business class is not your business as usual class. They give you two tickets for a start. The economy one's free. The in-flight service is even more of a departure, with the highest ratio of cabin staff per passenger. And they've gone and fitted sleeper seats you can sleep in. And look at this, your own personal Sony video thingy. Choose the movie you want from over a hundred titles, then see if your chums can guess which one it was. Three independent surveys have voted Virgin the best business carrier across the Atlantic. Even the limo's free. Virgin Atlantic voted the business person's favourite airline.
We're setting up a war machine that acts faster than the ability of men to control it. Then we must toughen the men. No one can interfere with the failsafe box, Mr. Raskob. No one. What happened to it? Colonel Casio? Uh, let's go to condition yellow. Does it have to do with the aircraft we have detected flying towards Russia? Yes, Mr. Chairman. The mission you are flying has been triggered by a mechanical failure. It is a mistake. Tomorrow at 9 on Channel 4. Now, dance on four. Thank you. 